Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. So I know you saw the title and you're thinking contour and highlight, really? There are a million different YouTube videos out there about this subject, but I promise you this video will be different. This trend is not going away anytime soon. I think that this is still one of the most common questions I get. So I thought I would do a very thorough video that's showing you guys exactly how to do it. This is going to be very natural. I think a lot of the videos out there right now, it's not the type of contouring and highlighting that you would do as an everyday person for everyday life. So that's what I really want to show you guys in this video today. Highlighting and contouring for the everyday girl. I want to show you guys what it looks like when you don't do any contouring or highlighting at all. This is just a regular foundation concealer powder application without any contour and highlighting. You can tell the face looks kind of flat. There's no definition at all. Whereas this is what it looks like when you do full contouring and highlighting. So the face has a lot more dimension. The cheekbones are chiseled. Everything's a lot more defined. So that is why we do contouring and highlighting. It brings out all the best features of your face. It really gives your face dimension so your face doesn't just look flat mm. and you know, you got nothing going on. <laughs> So I'm going to show you guys two different ways to contour and highlight. How to contour and highlight for every day, how to contour and highlight for special events, for going out at night, because they're different. They're not the same. This is what you're going to need for a natural daytime contour and highlight. Your everyday concealer, your everyday bronzer. Contouring and highlighting is all about bringing light and shadows to your face. You want to bring light to certain key areas of your face to make those areas stand out. Apply it to the top of your cheekbones, to the center of your face and the chin down the bridge of your nose and your cupid's bow. So those are all the key areas you usually want to highlight on your face to bring them out, to enhance them, to make your face pop and give your face dimension. So for every day, the easiest way to do that, and I still do recommend to do this every day because we wanna add dimension to your face, all the time is with your concealer. So whatever concealer you're using for the under eye area, just use that same concealer to highlight. Makes it super quick and easy. I've already done my concealer under my eye. I'm using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I really love this one because of the wand, so it makes it just so easy to apply. I'm gonna use it to apply in all the key areas that we just talked about for highlighting. Just right on top of the cheekbone. The reason you want to highlight your cheekbone area is because this is going to make your cheekbones look a lot more defined. There it is with a very natural highlight from the concealer. And you don't need a lot to do this, especially for every day. We're just going for more of a natural highlight and contour. And once that area is done, I usually move to the center of my face. Then the bridge of my nose. This thin line of highlight will make your nose look really thin once you add the contour. even without any contour, you guys can see that the light is drawing attention just to the center part of my nose. This will look a lot better once we add the contour. The center of the forehead, I usually take my beauty blender for this, or you can use your fingers, whatever is easiest and fastest for every day. Now we have this beautiful kind of halo of light just in the center of our face, and we'll do the same thing in the chin area. This is the look with a very natural highlight using just your everyday concealer. Super quick and easy, but it makes a big difference. To make sure everything stays and doesn't budge, I'm gonna set my face quickly with powder. Now it's time to contour. So contour is going to achieve the opposite of what highlighting does. Highlight brings out your features, Contour is going to sink in or minimize, makes things look smaller, it creates shadows. So the perfect example of that is, say you have a very long chin and you want your chin to look shorter. You would take the contour, apply it at the end of your chin, so it's going to create a shadow in that area and it's going to make your chin look shorter. There are key areas that you usually want to apply contour around your temples, the hollows of your cheekbones, which so is right underneath your cheekbone, and your jawline. You have to keep in mind that contouring is a little bit different and you need to adjust it for your face shape. But these are the key areas that work for everybody. A really easy way to think about it is you're creating the number three on your face in these key areas. From the temples, cheekbones, jawline, it's the shape of the number three. 
For every day, the easiest way to contour is with your bronzer. You're applying bronzer anyway, so adding a little bit more in specific applications to contour doesn't take too much time. I'm taking my BH Cosmetics bronzer in the color Bronze Babe. I've been loving this one. I've been using it a ton lately. You can use something like this that is specific for contour. It has more of an angle to the brush. So you can use it right in the hollows of your cheeks, around the temples, the jawline. This works great. Or if you wanna use just whatever brush you're using for bronzer, you can make that work too. It's really about where you're applying it. So let's apply it in the key area first that we mentioned and then I'm going to show you guys all of the other areas you can apply contour as well. I'm going to start up by the temple area and once we add contour in this area it's going to make the highlight that we applied in the center of the face stand out so much more. Bring it down to the hollows of my cheekbone. One of the easiest ways to know exactly where to apply this is to just suck in your cheeks and that creates that natural shadow. So that's where the contour goes. Then I bring it down to my jawline. So when you're creating a shadow, it's going to make your jawline look way more defined and will make you look skinnier. So this is the side with the contour. You can see it's definitely a lot more defined. My face looks a lot more chiseled, whereas this side just looks pretty flat. Gone ahead and completed my other side, so now I'm even on both sides. One of the most common things is contouring your nose. I personally love to contour my nose. I like my nose looking a bit slimmer. Just take my bronzer, a little bit of a smaller eyeshadow blending brush, and I would apply contour just along the sides of my nose on each side and bring it up to my eyebrows. That will make my nose look longer and thinner. You guys can see that gives the illusion that my nose is thinner. Not everybody needs that. There's different things that you do with contouring depending on your face. If you have a very square jawline, you're going to apply the contour along the outer edges of your jawline so you can make your jawline look more round. If you have a very long face, you're going to apply contour along your chin area to make your chin look shorter. If you have a very big forehead, you're gonna apply contour a lot more in your forehead area to make your forehead look smaller. So these are the steps to achieve a very natural everyday highlight and contour. Now I'll show you guys how to do a more dramatic highlight and contour that is great for special events, for your wedding, for going out at night. This is going to be a little bit more intense. It's going to really define your face, bring out your features. For this, you'll need a concealer to highlight, and contour, a bronzer, and a highlighter. I'm gonna start off with highlighting. I'm using my same NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, the one that I used earlier. This time, however, I only have foundation on. I have not done concealer, because I'm going to show you guys how to do concealer a little bit differently when you're doing this more intense style of highlighting and contouring. You want to bring light to that area of your face. Create a triangle shape and this is the area that we're going to highlight with your concealer. This is going to do multiple things. It's going to define your nose because we're applying that highlighter right on the sides of your nose. So it's going to make your nose look smaller when we're applying the contour. It's going to highlight the inner part of your cheeks and of course the under eye area. Next, we're gonna highlight the center of the face. Same idea, same thing as we did before, but we're gonna go a little bit more heavy-handed this time. And down the center of the nose, center of the chin, a Cupid's bow. Now it's time to contour. So the reason that I'm using a cream contour for this is because cream is just going to show up a lot more than the powder does. And I just like using a slightly darker concealer. You can use a product that is meant specifically for contouring, but at the end of the day, it's pretty much just like a concealer. So a concealer will work fine. I'm using the color Amand, which is about three to four shades darker than my skin tone. So when you're picking a color, you want a color that's definitely gonna show up, but you don't want it to be too dark just right in that hollow of your cheek the sides of your temple and your jawline since I am gonna contour my nose I'm gonna do that right now 
if you guys want to take a screenshot, this is the time to do it. This will be your guide of where you should highlight and contour. Obviously, this is a lot more intense than the natural everyday contour. And that's why I really wanted to show the two different versions because you're probably not gonna do this for every day. <laughs> now that we've mapped out our face, I like to take my Beauty Blender and start by blending out my highlighter. Of course, the Beauty Blender is wet. This is so important to make sure that everything blends out really smoothly. And you don't have to worry about the colors overlapping each other. That's totally fine, because that's just gonna make this look way more natural. When you're choosing a concealer to use for your highlighter, the one thing that I do recommend is you don't wanna use one that's too thick or too full coverage. I find those a little bit harder to blend out. To blend out the contour, I'm using my favorite brush to do this step. This is from It Cosmetics, number seven complexion perfection blot brush. It has the smaller end to blend around the nose area and any areas that are a little bit tighter. And then the bigger end I use for all over my face. I just love this brush because it just gives the softest, most diffused look. It blends the product without taking it away without removing it which is really important and when I'm blending the contour I kind of blend it out into my hairline and then I switch sides for the nose contour and then I also use this just for around the cupid's bow we need to set everything to make sure that everything stays put especially since this is all cream so I'm going to set my face with a little bit of powder and be right back so we're going to go over all of the highlights and all of the contours I'm taking my bronzer and this time I'm taking my contour brush I'm starting with my cheekbone area just really chiseling that area out kind of sucking it in and you could really feel the hollows of your cheek so I'm just pushing that brush in that area bringing it up to the top of my ear and then up around my temples and then down along my jawline. If you ever feel like you've gone way too heavy handed on the contour and you feel like it's too much, which is probably the number one most common thing I sometimes see when people do contour incorrectly is that they did not blend it out properly. Just take a clean brush or take your powder brush and just really softly blend out the edge of where you applied it. So you're not actually blending out what you applied. No, instead you're just blending out that edge so it's a little bit softer. And that is really important because a contour that isn't blended is not a contour. That's just a stripe of makeup on your face. <laughs> Now the last step is to go in with the powder highlighter. This is the one from Maybelline. Highlighting in the same key areas so down the bridge of your nose. A little bit on the top of the cheekbones. Cupid's bow. And that is a fully contour and highlighted face for a special event, for going out. This is the final look. I think for both looks, regardless, the end result is still very natural. I really hope you guys love this video. Make sure you leave me your comments below. Add me on Instagram if you haven't already, at Iman. Hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. And if there's anything that I miss, leave them for me in the comments and I will try my best to answer them. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you in another video very soon. Bye!